Now at 5, we're tracking developing news on a teenager shot in broad daylight in Taunton. Tonight, we've learned a suspect is in custody, and we're told he's barely old enough to drive. The shooting happened near a park on Hamilton Street this afternoon, seen here on the Pinpoint News Tracker, and it put a nearby school on lockdown. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in Taunton with the latest. The shooting happened in broad daylight right down the street on this sidewalk. And as you can see, the road is still blocked off right now. Police have blocked off this road for hours after they say one teenager shot another. A normally peaceful Taunton neighborhood shattered by gun violence. Police say a 16 year old shot a 17 year old on Hamilton Street next to Hopewell Park around 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. Both are boys from Taunton. We are assuming there's some type of disagreement between the two individuals. Police say the suspect shot the victim three times. He was airlifted to a hospital in Boston where at last check he was undergoing surgery. As for the suspect, he's facing an attempted murder charge. It's extremely con concerning. But you know, we've put a lot of resources into this park over the last couple of years uh, to make it a safe environment for families. No one else was hurt in the shooting, but Coyle Cassidy High School, a few blocks away, went on lockdown as a precaution. The mayor tonight promising to make this a safer city. We're not going to let. Uh, for lack of a better term, thugs take over this city, this area, or this city. It's just not going to happen. Police say the victim's parents have already been notified. Detective at last check were in the process of notifying the suspect's family. Heard on the victim or suspect's names, police say the two lived in the area and likely knew each other from school. Coming up tonight at six, more on residents push for more patrol officers in this area to help keep people safe. Live in Taunton with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. And now we're working developing news. One teenager is shot, another teenager arrested in a brazen act of violence in broad daylight. New at 6, why residents tell us they feel increasingly unsafe in this neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us now live in Taunton with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. People who live here say this isn't the first time violence has broken out in this neighborhood. Within the last few years, the city has cleaned up this area, but residents say it's still not enough. A 16-year-old Taunton boy facing attempted murder after police say he shot a 17-year-old Taunton boy on Hamilton Street around 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, right next to a park. It's a little surprising because during the day, this is a, a rather nice place to... Uh, Come down. A lot of people bring their family and their kids down to play at the park. Police say a disagreement between the victim and suspect likely led to the shooting, causing a lockdown of nearby Coyle Cassidy High School. It's unfortunate these situations happen that there seem to be an inordinate amount of firearms on the street in the hands of juveniles. Police say they're dealing with the problem as best they can, but residents want more. There has been requests to put officers down here, and it's always been a no. Nope. Not needed. Well, now hopefully they'll do something. Residents say the area is peaceful, but not immune to criminal activity. I just feel passionate about protecting my community, my home. Children deserve better. Tonight, the mayor promising action. We're not going to let, uh, for lack of a better term, thugs take over this city, this area, or this city. As for the shooting here on Hamilton Street, police say the 17-year-old victim is recovering from three gunshot wounds. At last check, he was in surgery at a hospital near Boston, and a suspect is in custody. Live in Taunton with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.